So for me, being an athletic trainer just means being a hard worker, being knowledgeable, being trustworthy. I mean, you can't, we, we rely so heavily on relationships that we have to, we have to be able to build that trust right away. Um, we have to kind of adapt our, our attitude and our emotions and all that stuff to cater to each individual athlete in order to get them to trust us faster or as fast as possible. And I, I mean, I still struggle with that. I was, I've been told, um, I've been told I'm too stoic around athletes, which is, is true. Sometimes I try so hard to be professional around them, despite how I look and my attire today, try so hard to be professional around them that sometimes I don't let any emotion come through. And so when no emotion comes through on my end, they don't trust me because they think maybe they just are another patient to me. They're not somebody, they're not an individual. Um, and lastly, I mean, it's my big thing everywhere I've been is just to always have fun. Um, and I, I don't know why that's not more common. Um, but I mean, loved having fun. I started the Hawaiian shirt Fridays at my first job, love joking around in the AT room whenever it's appropriate. Right. Obviously you don't do it all the time. Um, but I mean, at the JUCO, we would constantly have, uh, not constantly, but sometimes we'd have some sort of music going on. I'm a big Disney fan, so we'd throw Disney music on sometimes at uh, both the colleges I've been at. Um, like whether it's bringing in an espresso or something like that for a buddy because it's game day. Like, great, let's get after it. Here's an espresso or here's a bang. Like something a little bit to perk somebody up and make those longer days a little bit better.